This will defend Fly Army above, above the best. best. Good morning, graduates, family members, and guests. On behalf of Major General Michael McCurry, Commanding General, United States Army Aviation Center of Excellence in Fort Novacell, welcome to the graduation ceremony for flight school. Would everyone please stand for the invocation and the playing of the national anthem. Chaplain Travis Wilson will give our invocation. Let us pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you now with a joyful heart, knowing that this chapter is now closing and another one opens up. Lord, we are celebrating today uh, for success. Lord, I ask that you would pour blessing upon each of these pilots as they go forth from here. I ask that you anoint their career as they protect our country. Lord, be with them throughout their days. The long ones uh, will be trying. Lord, I ask, dear God, that you would be with their families, the military spouse, the unspoken hero. Be with that person through those long days as well. Lord, I ask, dear God, that you would bless their travels from here with a smile on their face and relaxed going to their next duty assignment. I thank you. It's in your precious and holy name I pray these things. Amen. Please remain standing for the playing of the national anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your headdress.
Thank you. You may be seated. Please welcome Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Men, 1st Battalion, 223rd Aviation Regiment. Well, thank you, and good morning. What a, what a beautiful day for some significant life-changing events. And uh, for one of your classmates, uh, I'm told, I was supposed to be here today. Uh, they're delivering a child or in the process of a newborn. So uh, big days all the way around. Uh, but warm welcome to all the family members, friends, and instructors joining us today. Thank you for support and commemorating this tremendous occasion. We are delighted each of you can celebrate with us this morning. Attending the ceremony representing the United States Army Aviation Center of Excellence are Colonel Christopher Logsdon, Deputy Commandant for the Army National Guard and Senior Guard Advisor. Lieutenant Colonel Mark Axtell, Commander, 1st of the 145th Aviation Regiment. Chief Warrant Officer 5, Nigel Hebsher, Command, Chief Warrant Officer, 1st Aviation Brigade. Command Sergeant Major John Benia, 1st Aviation Brigade. Command Sergeant Major Joey Dotson, 1st of the 145th Aviation Regiment. We would also like to welcome Colonel Shane Kimbrough, United States Army Retired, Colonel Kirk Furnett, United States Army Retired, Chief Warrant Officer 5, Ryan Maltzberger, 110th Brigade UH-60 Standardization Pilot at Fort Novacell, Chief Warrant Officer 5, Ronald Niles, United States Army Retired, Chief Warrant Officer 5, Russell Robinson, United States Army Retired, and Mrs. Beth Woodward, spouse of the 1st Aviation Brigade Commander. Thank you for joining us. To our newest Army aviators, congratulations on achieving a significant milestone. In just a few minutes, your flight school journey will come to an end as your friends and family pin the wings on your chest that you've worked so hard to achieve. I hope they will always remind you of the professional aviators who trained you, the special community you now represent, and the sacred duty we have to support the ground force. The ground force is depending on you to get them where they need to be, when they need to be there, or to protect them from the enemy. And when you find yourself on the receiving end of a desperate plea for help, I know you'll move heaven and earth to help them, uh, to help the men and women on the ground, because that's what Army Aviation is all about. We exist to support the ground force. I'm proud of you and eager to see each of you realize your full potential as Army aviators. Before I introduce our guest speaker, I would like to quickly reiterate the process for pinning our newest aviators. Your aviator will be called forward, cross the stage, and then stand in front of the stage to await their family and friends, spouses or children, to come up and pin on their wings. The master of ceremony will cue you by saying, please come forward to pin your aviator. At that time, please come forward and pin the wings on your aviator. Take a moment to celebrate this momentous occasion before returning to your seats. The stage will be available after graduation for you to take as many additional photographs as you would like. This is a defining moment in all of your lives and one you will never forget. Congratulations to all of you. Now it is my great pleasure to introduce the guest speaker for today's graduation ceremony. Chief Warrant Officer 5, Adam Caballero, is a master aviator with more than 20 years of military service. He was a civilian flight instructor prior to being accepted into the Warrant Officer Candidate School and then the Army's flight school program. He is rated in the UH-72 Alpha Lakota and the UH-60 Lima Mike Blackhawk helicopters. During his time in the Army, he has received numerous awards and decorations for his service and served in a number of key positions throughout his career, including instructor pilot, air mission commander, medevac senior pilot, and executive officer. His previous assignment was serving as a utility branch chief with the Directorate of Evaluation and Standardizations. He currently serves as a lead operator in the new systems integration branch for the future long range assault aircraft within the Directorate of Training and Doctrine here at Fort Novacell. Please join me in welcoming Chief Warrant Officer 5, Adam Caballero. Good morning. This is a great occasion. 
It's okay. I know you're in the military. Good morning. So distinguished guests, family, friends, loved ones, fellow officers, and most importantly, those about to pin on their Army aviator wings. So today, it's truly an honor to be here today to celebrate your accomplishments. And this is also a special treat for me because a coworker, a friend, and someone I consider a mentor, CW5 Ron Niles is pinning the wings on his son today. So it's a privilege to witness this today. It has been just over 20 years since I sat where you are. Much time has passed, but it seems just like yesterday that I began my journey in Army aviation. Now, I don't remember much of the details of flight school. I vaguely remember graduation. I get flashes of memories once in a while, but I do remember a few things, such as the long nights of studying, the family sacrifices that were made, and the hard work and dedication that it took to maintain a high position on the OML so I can get the aircraft and duty station of choice. I also remember that it was none other than CW4 Mike Novoselic who gave the address at my graduation ball. I never realized the gravity of his accomplishments until later in my career. Nonetheless, it was truly an honor to listen to a hero tell a story and give us the inspiration and guidance we needed as we embarked on our journey as Army aviators. What I remember most of all are things like my stick buddy, Lieutenant Colonel Jack Potvin, at the time, Second Lieutenant Jack Potvin, soloing together, and the times he would jab my arm with a pencil, trying to remind me not to forget my fuel check. And I'm pretty sure there's still some lead in my arm today. But we still keep in touch, and we laugh about our time that we had together in flight school. I can tell you from experience that the friends that you've made during your time here at Fort Novacell will last a lifetime. It's amazing how fast 20 years goes, yet I still feel the same excitement every time I climb into the aircraft. As a matter of fact, I flew yesterday, I flew five hours, my brain says go, but my body says no, I'm pretty sore today. I'm excited for each of you. When I look across the room, I see opportunity. And not only the opportunity to excel on your current MOS, but the opportunity to fly our future weapon systems. I work as the lead operator in charge of training domain for the future long-range assault aircraft, and I work beside individuals who are responsible for a multitude of advanced systems that you will have the opportunity to operate. And these systems are designed to give you the advantage over our adversaries. They will be the tools that you will use to assist you in accomplishing the part of the soldier's creed which states that we will stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the enemies of the United States of America. Just remember that your equipment is only as good as you employ them. So become experts at whatever opportunities you are given. So now for my career advice. Number one, take your job and your responsibilities seriously, even if they aren't aviation specific. Even, and by that I mean fridge fund, supply officer, alcy officer, S4. Remember that the lives and well-being of America's sons and daughters are in your hands. Number two, don't take yourselves too seriously. And by that I mean don't assume your own self-importance. Always be willing to learn and be open to new ideas. Be a team player. Every soldier, NCO, warrant officer, and officer has their own unique experiences and perspective different than your own. Let them teach you through their experiences. Number three, have fun. For some of you, your fun meter may peg early, but I challenge you to persevere. You will serve in great units which are better with you in it. Every assignment is unique and every level of responsibility has its own challenges and rewards. Some of you will find your niche soon, others much later. Either way, if you're not having fun, you might be doing it wrong. Number four, take care of each other. Warrant officers, take care of your platoon leaders. Coach and mentor them. You're the subject matter experts. Help them to be successful. They're going to be the future commanders. Treat them with respect and shape them to be the leaders that you want to serve with. Officers, take care of your warrant officers. Help them to develop a, co a cohesive environment. Know when it's time to work, but also know when it's time to rest. Protect your soldiers from menial tasks. Respect works both ways. Respect your subordinates, and they will respect you. These next nuggets of advice concern family. I place strong emphasis on families. Bottom line up front, at the end of your time in service, whether it's 10 years, 20 years, or even longer, your family is what you get to take with you. Even though you may not believe this next statement, I can tell you for a fact that the Army will go on without you. 
And it may have taken me a while to realize these next point, but they're true nonetheless. And the quicker you learn them, the better for you and for your families. The first is that God will have multiple commanders. Our family will only have one husband, father, wife, or mother. So to paraphrase, you're not the first at your military position, and you will not be the last. Take care of your family. Two, every career decision is a family decision. Remember that your family gets a say in your career too. Three, when at work, be at work. When at home, be at home. The uniform is removable. Be present for your family. They need you too. So in closing, I may not remember much of my graduation as my thoughts were simply elsewhere, focusing on the future and approaching possibilities. But I do remember when we were all pronounced Army aviators and what that meant and the pride that I felt in that moment. So remember, remember this moment. Remember the instructors that got you here. Remember your families and friends who supported you. And remember your fellow students who helped each other along the way. Throughout your careers, the officers and the warrant officers sitting to your left and right will be there for you. Make sure that you are there for them. You see, the Army is a team. And now you're a full-fledged member of that team. You're well endowed with a special skill set that is vital to the Army mission. So to our graduates, I'll finish with the phrase you've heard many times in flight school. You've got the controls. You've got the controls to our aircraft. You've got the controls to the future of Army aviation. You have the controls to the combat destiny of our Army to fight and win our nation's wars. And judging from the looks of our graduates, those controls are in good hands. So 20 plus years or so from now, one of you will be standing behind this podium, sharing the honor and passing the controls off to the next generation of Army aviators. Enjoy the ride and the good company along the way. Welcome to the team. God bless, Godspeed, above the best. Thank you, Mr. Caballero, for your inspiring remarks. At this point in the ceremony, we honor those graduates who have excelled in the course. Graduates who are within the top 20% of their class receive special recognition as Commandant's List graduates, Honor graduates, or Distinguished graduates. The Distinguished Graduate is the title bestowed upon those officers who attain the highest overall scholastic average throughout the entire course of instruction. As the title implies, it is the mark of excellence representing outstanding achievement in academic and flight endeavor. Each distinguished graduate shall receive engraved sterling silver wings provided by the Army Aviation Association of America, plus an additional gift from the Military Officers Association of America. At this time, I take pleasure in announcing the distinguished graduates from Class 2412. Lieutenant Tucker Martin. First Lieutenant Martin is active duty and a distinguished graduate. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Paul Yaden. <laughs> W-01 Yaden is active duty and a distinguished graduate. He is a C-12 pilot. Please come forward to pin your aviators.
We will now recognize the remaining top 20%. Lieutenant Valentina Adams. First Lieutenant Adams is active duty and an honor graduate. She is an age 64 Echo pilot. Lieutenant Dustin Bosch. <laughs> Lieutenant Bosch is active duty and an honor graduate. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot. Lieutenant Thomas Cothran. First Lieutenant Cothran is active duty and an honor graduate. He is an age 64 Echo pilot. Lieutenant Chloe Stretzman. First Lieutenant Stretzman is active duty and an honor graduate. She is an age 64 Echo pilot. Please come forward and pin your aviator. Warrant Officer Sebastian Figueroa. W01 Figueroa is active duty and an honor graduate. He is a C-12 pilot. Warrant Officer Travis Madden. W01 Madden is active duty and an honor graduate. He is an age 64 Echo pilot. Warrant Officer Tyler Martin. W01 Martin is active duty and an honor graduate. He is a CH-47 Fox pilot. Please come forward and pin your aviator. Now we will recognize the remainder of the class in alphabetical order by rank. Lieutenant Bradley Barlow. 
First Lieutenant Barlow is active duty. He is an AH-64 Echo pilot. Lieutenant Emily Danalo. First Lieutenant Danalo is active duty. She is an AH-64 Echo pilot. Captain Kevin Fox. Captain Fox is active duty. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Lieutenant Matthew Garno II. Second Lieutenant Garno is Army National Guard. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot and is based out of Wyoming. Lieutenant Brian Harlow. First Lieutenant Harlow is active duty. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Please come forward and pin your aviator. Lieutenant Zachary Hilliard. Second Lieutenant Hilliard is Army National Guard. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot and is based out of Nebraska. Lieutenant Daniel Jones. First Lieutenant Jones is active duty. He is an AH-64 Echo pilot. Lieutenant Emily Keller. First Lieutenant Keller is active duty. She is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Lieutenant Zachary Kimbrough. First Lieutenant Kimbrough is active duty. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Lieutenant Jason Lee. First Lieutenant Lee is active duty. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Please come forward to pin your aviator.
Lieutenant Clayton Leonard. First Lieutenant Leonard is active duty. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Lieutenant Connor Olea. First Lieutenant Olea is Army National Guard. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot and is based out of Delaware. Lieutenant Hunter Oswald. First Lieutenant Oswald is active duty. He is a C-12 pilot. Lieutenant Bethany Ramsey. Second Lieutenant Ramsey is Army National Guard. She is a UH-60 Mike pilot and is based out of West Virginia. Lieutenant Ransom Redman. Second Lieutenant Redman is active duty. He is an H-64 Echo pilot. Please come forward to pin your aviator. Lieutenant Robert Rupert. Woo! Second Lieutenant Rupert is active duty. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Lieutenant Bromley Sherritt. First Lieutenant Sherritt is active duty. She is an AH-64 Echo pilot. Lieutenant Jared Thornbrew. First Lieutenant Thornbrew is active duty. He is an AH-64 Echo pilot. Lieutenant Jacob Winston. Second Lieutenant Winston is Army National Guard. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot and is based out of Oregon. Warrant Officer Marcus Burkell. W-01 Burkell is active duty. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Please come forward to pin your aviator.
Warrant Officer Michael Besaw. <laughs> W01 Besaw is active duty. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Zachary Bob. <laughs> W01 Bob is Army National Guard. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot and is based out of Pennsylvania. Warrant Officer Zoe Burris. W01 Burris is active duty. She is a UH 60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Christopher Butner. W01 Butner is Army Reserve. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot and is based out of California. Warrant Officer Jacob Chapa. W01 Chapa is Army National Guard. He is a CH-47 Fox pilot and is based out of Oklahoma. Please come forward to pin your aviator. Warrant Officer David Cook. WL1 Cook is active duty. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Michael Cox. WL1 Cox is active duty. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Herbert Denning IV. W01 Denning is active duty. He is an AH-64 Echo pilot. Warrant Officer Anthony Erb. W01 Erb is Army National Guard. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot and is based out of Florida. Warrant Officer Hayden Furnitz. W01 Furnitz is Army National Guard. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot and is based out of Pennsylvania. Please come forward to pin your aviator.
Warrant Officer Jacob Goss. W01 Goss is active duty. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Sarah Hanna. W01 Hanna is active duty. She is a UH 60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Alexander Jennings. W01 Jennings is active duty. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Colin McFadden. WO1 McFadden is Army National Guard. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot and is based out of Alabama. Warrant Officer Charles Niles. WO1 Niles is active duty. He is an AH 64 Echo pilot. Please come forward to pin your aviator. Warrant Officer Leif Nordgren. W01 Nordgren is Army National Guard. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot and is based out of Vermont. Warrant Officer Joel Pallon. W01 Pallon is active duty. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Garrett Peterson. W01 Peterson is active duty. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Jeffrey Peterson. W01 Peterson is active duty. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Mitchell Powell. W01 Powell is active duty. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Please come forward to pin your aviator.
Warrant Officer Brady Riggs. W01 Riggs is active duty. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Marshawn Riley. W01 Riley is Army National Guard. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot and is based out of Indiana. Warrant Officer Jonathan Sanchez. W01 Sanchez is active duty. He is an AH-64 Echo pilot. Warrant Officer Kyle Scoggins. W01 Scoggins is active duty. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Please come forward to pin your aviator. Warrant Officer Samuel Silva. W01 Silva is active duty. He is an AH-64 Echo pilot. Warrant Officer Matthew Ulatowski. W01 Ulatowski is active duty. He is an AH-64 Echo pilot. Warrant Officer Stephen Valdez. W01 Valdez is Army act is active duty. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Dallas Vela. W01 Vela is active duty. He is a C-12 pilot. Warrant Officer Ian Worthington. W01 Worthington is active duty. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Please come forward to pin your aviator.
Graduates, please stand. Please join me in a round of applause for the Army's newest aviation warfighters. Would everyone please stand or remain standing for the playing of the aviation song, Above the Best, and the Army song, The Army Goes Rolling Along. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the graduation ceremony. Thank you for celebrating with us and enjoy the rest of your day. Class leader, dismiss the class.